What's up guys, it's Will from TechBTV bringing to you a review and impressions of the 1005 PE Asus EPC netbook. So I've used this probably for about a week, week and a half, two weeks now. Uh, can't keep track of the time actually. Uh, you know, I've used it for general uh, internet surfing, etc. And, you know, so far I actually do like it. Startup time was actually not too horrible. If you read my, uh, or looked at my previous review of the uh, Samsung N150, it was like a 25 minute startup. You know, this was a little bit more reasonable for a first time startup. It took about five to ten minutes. Uh, had to initialize a few things. So, startup time, bloatware wise, not too bad. I was actually pretty happy with it. Uh, I do like the chiclet type keyboard that you notice right here. Uh, it does have a touchpad that is textured, uh, unlike some of the other netbook models where it kind of has a flush touchpad where you can't exactly tell where the touchpad begins and ends. You know, this tactile, um, textured, not tactile, uh, feel to it kind of serves its purpose. Uh, I do not, not a huge fan of the kind of rocker type left and right mouse clicking. I'd actually prefer two dedicated keys without the rocking back and forth. Uh, keys are pretty responsive. Uh, they're pretty, pretty good for chicken keyboard. I still prefer the Toshiba NB305 when it comes to the uh, keyboard, like a chiclet type keyboard. It comes with, as you can see, this is the uh, AC adapter in port, the VGA, the USB cable lock. Comes with a SD card slot, uh, microphone headphone jack, two additional USB ports, and then the ethernet jack. Wi-Fi wise, good reception. It's got B, G, and N capability. It does have a webcam, however, this webcam is a 0.3 megapixel. Most of the ones that I've seen or used uh, are 1.3 megapixel. A little disappointed that it had the 0.3 megapixel for this particular model, especially for the price tag. Um, uh, other than that, it's a pretty good all-around netbook. Now, I will let you know that it does come with the uh, Windows 7 starter. So as you know, Windows 7 starter is kind of a stripped down model of uh, the Windows 7 operating system. You will not be able to change the wallpaper. Uh, the arrow or the um, theme stays the same. It does not change. Uh, it does come with the N450 processor. However, it does not come with the ION, which made it, you know, I surfed the web a little bit. I tried to do some video streaming. If you bump it up to like high def level, meaning 720p or above, it does chop up a little bit. Uh, it doesn't, isn't able to handle that. And loading up a few, uh, you know, digital copies, like I own the Hulk, I tried playing on it. It's a little choppy on this. So for general surfing, web surfing, and um, just, you know, on the bed or on the couch, just want to surf or check emails, it's perfect for it. Uh, but the webcam ability, again, because it's 0.3 megapixel, not 1.3, performance wasn't as great. And that's about it, guys. That's my impression. Oh, one last thing was the battery life. So it's about standard. It's about six hours real life usage. I got about five. So not too happy with that, especially when you have devices like the iPad that last 11 plus hours on you know, optimal settings. When I do optimal settings for this, I get about five, five and a half. Uh, not too happy with that. And heft wise, it's actually a little bit bigger than the iPad. Um, heavier, I mean. And, you know, it, I'm actually, you know, in, a, in an environment where you have devices like the iPad, probably wouldn't be at the top of the stack for thinking about it. But, you know, it is a decent netbook. Um, but, Highly advise you to look at other models that are out there right now by EPC that have better specifications like ION, um, 1.3 megapixel camera, 2 gigs of RAM, uh, full versions of Windows 7. Uh, right now, I believe, for the price of this model and the environment that it's in, probably wouldn't be, probably shouldn't consider it as your top choice for a netbook. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of the. 1005 PE by ASUS EPC, and uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, I'm open to suggestions, and you know, again, please thumbs up uh, and subscribe. I'll have lots more videos coming, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.